Hello, my dear friends, my lovely audiences. Welcome to the East West Show. Jack Chow with the G and E TV on the East West Show. Uh, today, once again, is our Donald Trump update uh, for the past week. Lots of things happening, and the word for the past one week uh, that's been on the lips the most is the word hate or hatred or something like that. I w wonder why all of a sudden. Uh, the in the year of 2017, on the uh, uh, solar terms, there all of a sudden in the United States, the word hate or hatred pops up as a subject. So, uh, uh, in the discussion today, joining me is my good friend, my brother kind of friend, who never gets offended, even though I argue with him all the time, uh, even though he still looks a long face. <laughs> it's my it's parents' my, fault. It's my oh, your parents' fault. It's my good friend Ken Hemming. So he is a political commentator. He is the uh, board of uh, PCC Foundation. He is also, most importantly, a philosopher, a writer. His book, One Hundred Words to Live By: Life Is Simple, right. is my Bible that stays next to my pillow. I read these even these days. I do right. love it. And I recommend if you uh, already want the book, you call me for 626-856-3889. I'll let you know where to get the book. So uh, to Ken, uh, welcome to the show. I, I love you and your viewers just like my family. I love you too. And I believe lots of my audience share the same with me. Uh, in today's political life, there is always right and left. There's always a right or wrong. There's always the fingers being pointed anyway. Somebody points finger at me, I say, okay, well, well that's, I give you the freedom to do so. And uh, I will not do the same. Doesn't mean that you will not do, right? So anyway, uh, talking about the word, like I said, hate or hatred, mm -hmm. what's your comment about it? You wanna go uh, into it a little well, bit? Well, I think this is probably maybe the most important discussion we've ever had on any of the shows we've mm -hmm. done together. Mm -hmm. I've been on planet Earth for several decades, and uh, you know, like brothers and sisters go, I hate you, or something mm -hmm. like that, okay? Hate to the extent those, that... Those, those are kind of like uh, different uses. Uh, oh, to re totally, yeah. They're no. rhetorical. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. just nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, but uh, now, uh, hatred is being taught in elementary school, mm -hmm. high school, colleges, uh, the media uh, endorsing hatred and endorsing violence. They encourage it because they, they feel it and it comes through. So hate is something that I believe is a part of the agenda to try to change America mm -hmm. from a democracy you know, into a country that's uh, governed by a large government with less individual rights for people. And hate is used to divide people that aren't dividable, We're, you know. I mean, nobody cares if you're black or white in, uh, anymore in mm -hmm. America, but they're being fed this desire to hate and this acceptance of, of uh, uh, I, violence uh, that, that is, is part of an insurgency to destroy America as we know it. I agree with you partially. Okay. Uh, the part I agree with you is that I believe there is a concern of uh, hate or hatred there uh, in the society of nowadays United States. Huge. Number Huge. two, what I disagree with you are those aspects or areas. For example, you say hate or hatred are taught in schools. They are. In what, the, kind, the, of, the, yeah. in what kind of way are they taught in schools? Well, number one, right now, there's a tremendous movement to say, like, I'm a conservative guy, okay? So therefore, and I'm a Trump supporter, so therefore, I'm a racist and all kinds of other things. That's idiotic. I, I, I love people. All my friends do. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no. They, that's what they're saying. If you're, if, and they're, they're, try, they're trying to, to, to eliminate free speech if it's anything that's positive that's about the Constitution. Exactly in po it's exactly true. Yeah, that exactly not, especially when it applies to me, you and me. Okay. Right? I respect you for being who you are. 
I respect you for being well, politically who you are. Because you're a moderate. You're not uh, an extreme leftist uh, and I denounce, uh, activist. I denounce, I denounce um, the extreme left also. And they're doing that. I agree. I did. I yeah, denounce. Yeah. I mm -hmm. denounce the so extreme left. Now, I denounce KKK wanna, and now we all of those things. It. Now we want to rephrase it. So the only the extreme left take people like you for hatred. They do. Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, I mean, in definition, we say only extreme left. Well, yeah, it's 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 not the moderate, the moderate Democrats. The moderate, fine. moderate left or moderate people, not even right or left. They're just like they take yeah. it as a as common. They take it as a life. See, the only difference, Jack, for my whole life between Democrats and Republicans mm -hmm. is Democrats always have been for uh, a larger government more of a welfare okay. uh, state, and the Republicans are, are more behind the capitalist uh, 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 constitutional desires to, to take care of ourselves, not look for someone else to take care of me, be, be self-independent, and, and so in that's where the only difference. Now general, it's totally yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. All right, you're right, you're right. In general, that's it. That's the whole thing. That's the whole It's difference. what it used to be, and it was fine. That's the whole difference. Those were compatible yeah. differences. I mean, in general, that's the whole difference. Those were compatible. And yeah. at which point, how people enlarge it to both extreme end? Well, honestly, of course, you're not going to you know, agree with me, but, you know, when, when our fine President Obama got elected, you know, he, he has... Yeah, part of his agenda was to to divide and conquer. In my opinion, okay, this is just Kenny Hemming's opinion. Okay, and, your personal um, opinion, yes. Uh, and and you know when he was, uh, you know, saying very bad things about police, saying that uh, Trayvon Martin was was a wonderful kid when, you know, mm -hmm. you know, and and, and uh, uh, the Missouri deal and that, uh, and and. You, you know, and the church he went to was very anti-American with his Reverend Wright. Mm -hmm. All right, it was. I mean, he said, "God damn America!" I don't. I, I can't say that. I can't even think of that. So, but anyway, I th so I think that th that began the process of trying to create because they all assumed, which I understand, you're saying, Hillary would okay, win, good, good, and good, then good. his agenda of you're bigger saying, government you're saying would the just whole continue. Thing, the whole thing or the whole trend started with Obama. Well, for example, when Bill Clinton was, was president, there wasn't any hatred f thrown around like this. No. 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 With Bush, no. none. No. You know, there was, no. you know, disagreements. Uh -huh. but, but the hatred uh -huh. that now is a part uh -huh. of our really? society good, good, as good, an good, acceptable good, good. Uh, you, reaction yeah. troubles me beyond you seem, breathing. You seem to touch the point. You seem to exactly touch the point. Okay, now, during Bill Clinton time, prior to George Bush 41 time and yes, after sir. to George Bush 30 43 yeah. time yeah. yeah right they were right uh, they were right left to right yeah right yeah republican democrat republican like that but, but no hate there are th they have something in common you know what They're they are all white that the, that the Obama's white? No, no, no. You, you, you never you listen to me. Yeah, I know. I'm talking about before Obama. Uh -huh. Before Obama. White means nothing. No, black I, means I, I know, nothing. I know, I know, I know, I know. Nothing. But as a as a as a as a fact, right? But, but it's irrelevant. George Bush, George H. W. Bush, George Bush, George W. Bush, and in, uh, and Bill, uh, Bill Clinton, they all white. What's wrong with that? Right. No, nothing wrong. Okay. Nothing wrong. I'm talking about. I'm talking about, at the moment. When Obama became president of the United States, a colored president, the Americans, do you think they were ready to accept a colored See, president? We talked about this uh, a week ago. The American citizens were way more prepared because we don't care mm -hmm. that Obama was to be president. He had never really mm -hmm. accomplished mm -hmm. anything other than sweet okay. talking, uh, right, which okay. he's good at. Okay, okay. okay. So yes, uh -huh. of course, it's, American, nobody cares okay, uh, anymore. I know the the general public. If the general public might be ready for a uh, black president, how Think about the, how was. about how about the elites? Well, the, okay, now see, that's a real good word to use because what's happened, I am an opponent to all of, I'm for term limits, nobody should be in, in Congress or the Senate 30 years. They all get so corrupted mm -hmm. in there to build their own power base right, and, okay, and they okay. all leave as multimillionaires. Mm -hmm. So 
um, the elites, which both includes the Republicans and the Democrats, mm -hmm. they can stand it that just the ordinary American citizen, not a politician, mm -hmm. not beholding to all of the special interest groups that give you money, because uh, President Trump didn't need money, can come in and become president by re representing the middle class and the lower classes in America that have been forgotten. In other words, your answer is that the elites were not ready for the black president. Of the oh United no, they States. were no. As long as he was going to be part of the elite group, of course they were. Mm -hmm. They had no, nothing wrong. Nobody cares if he's black. No, I'm not talking about he himself being uh, one of the elite group. I'm talking about he himself being on a first ever black president of the United the States. The elitists didn't were care. Were the elites of uh, Americans. The elitists didn't care. They didn't ready. care. He was just another tool, another president that had an agenda that unfortunately mm -hmm. isn't compatible with our constitution and the All soul right. of America, and in then, my opinion. And then how would Obama time, starting day one, create hatred? Well, by, well, <laughs> he expressed such divisive commentaries for eight years, Jack, that, uh, and, and like he's got Black Lives Matter in the White House. It's a, it's a race hate group. I love black people. I love white people, okay? I love, mm. yellow, you know, Asian people. I love anybody. You and, mentioned, and it was, uh, and, and he fomented you division because that's how mm. they think you can divide. And all this gay stuff that's come in, you know, before he got uh, elected, oh, I believe in traditional do marriage, you, of course. I mean, do you Many take changes. As, do you take as a fact that ever since Obama uh, took office as President of the United States, lots of uh, incidents that has black people involved happen? I don't know what you mean by that. Do you know as a fact since Obama took to Oh, no, I heard your words. What do you mean it loss happened? Of, loss Everything of, uh, happens. Loss of the event that has uh, black people involved. Well, name one. Yeah. Most of the time, a uh, well, victim. Well, you know, what you're saying, you're, you're, you're probably kind of demeaning the cops now. What happens, 73 to 85, 80 percent of all black hit guys that are shot are shot by black guys mm. in, in, the, in the ghettos, in the communities that we're not taking care of. Mm. I do. I believe President Trump. You know, he's trying to help Chicago. I was born in Chicago. Chicago is a war zone in in certain areas of the city, and um, so. Uh, and Chicago gave birth to you, and we have a white guy who is so amicable, who never fights for anything. I fight for the Constitution. <laughs> That's what okay. I do. You fight for yeah. the Constitution. I'm not a physical fighter. You just I'm an intellectual you just combat. One quote from President Obama say. Yeah. Uh, Trayvon Martin is a good guy, good kid. Oh yeah, my son would have looked like him if he was my son yeah, or something. Yeah, my son would. Uh, would but would, he was pounding the head of the poor would, guy would, that would, would, ended be, up shoot, be like him. shooting him. Yeah, right. right. Like like that, right? Right. Okay, very good. Let's, but still, uh, that's that's not the deal. Yeah, we can it's take hate a, now. We can take a moment out, and we come back. Yeah. We'll continue from that point on, shall we? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my dear audience, today with me is my good friend Ken Hemming. Ken Hamming is a brother kind of friend who I argue, even though all the time I cherish the friendship, I respect him as a brother, I respect him as a, a philosopher. Uh, he is a writer himself. His book, Life is Simple, 100 Words to Live By, I Never Forget, right? So That's let's uh, take a short moment out. When we come back, we'll continue from the point of Trevon Martin, probably mm, what is that guy? Brown. Yeah, Michael Brown. Michael Brown. Yeah, okay. all those so, things. All right, we'll be right back. Hello, my dear friends. Hello, my lovely audiences. My dear fellow Americans, welcome back to the show. Jack Chow of uh, East West with Jin E T V. And with me, my good friend Ken Hamming, a philosopher, a brother, and a lover to the community that I respect, who I respect a lot. Right? And not only for his knowledge, but for, for he has a big heart. And he has big manner that, uh, according to him, never offended. I tried once, I failed. He never, he's I'll offer never anybody a thousand oh, bucks if you can he's offend never, me. He's never offendable. All right, I'm good. not. So Ken, it's a waste of energy. back to the show. This is a, this is a big show, Jack. Yeah. 
because we're talking about hate. Except the few moments when he has a long face that he bl blames his parents for giving him that. That's long right. Face, right. I mean, my Chinese name is Ug Li. <laughs> uh, Li. Yeah. Right, good, L E E. Good. All right. Good. Very good. <laughs> okay, I love it. Back to the point. Yeah. We were a discussion when you mentioned a, a when you took a quote from Obama, saying that Trevor Marley was a good kid. My the same thing would happen to my son if he was there, something like that, something like sure, that. Sure, that, sure, sure. Right. Yeah. So if he did the same thing, you, 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 uh, you tend to say that the message of such uh, from Obama helped produce the word hate. Well, I think he foments hate as a mm -hmm. political tool mm -hmm. to try to achieve uh, his, his desires for more of a government a controlled country mm -hmm. with less and, and more welfare way beyond the normal needs of people that are in, in need of help. Mm -hmm. And the open borders was to get people in here, give them a cell phone, and give, give them a vote. And then, then we'd have democ uh, Democrats forever. That may still happen because it mm -hmm. depends on birth rates and all that sort of thing. And the, and the media is having an impact, you know, on, I, on young people. I'm a starving people. I'm very starving, okay? From day one, when the uh, Trevon Martin versus George Zimmerman went uh, viral, I seemed to to know the 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 the, the ending, and mm -hmm. sure enough, the ending was exactly what I uh, def desperately uh, not hope, but it was exactly that way. That we hope it was just that doesn't mean that doesn't mean Trevon Martin is a bad kid. Well, he was pounding so, the head out of the guy. So, he so, was a criminal. So to call him to call him a a good kid is not wrong. Obama doesn't say anything wrong. That's fine. Are you saying a black kid cannot be called a good kid? I pitched 20 baseball games, Jack, where I'm the only white guy on either team. Everybody else is black, mm -hmm. and they love me. All right, lucky you. And I love them. Lucky you, So right. there's lucky nothing, you, Lucky no. you, lucky you, no. lucky you. And what am I hearing? if you compare Trevor Martin with George Zimmerman, who, after the, the, the verdict, mm -hmm. came to several offenses, after offenses, after offenses, never took a respite. Not related to that incident. No, they're, you know, they're irrelevant. That, Those well, are irrelevant that references. At least, that, that at least give you an indication of what kind, what kind of man he was or he is. He was a man defending his life at that point in time, Jack. Mm, so I nothing don't else counts. So. Well, you're wrong. I don't think so. You're wrong. I don't think so. Well, you can go ahead even and love court, Trevon yeah, if you even want. Even the court defines it that way. I do not think so. So we will eternally disagree so. on that. Yeah, he we was, will. He was eternally a, a young to that. thug. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And, and then, yeah. But yeah. let's forget all that stuff. Let's no, no, go no, no, to no. what we were talking happening. about. We were talking about how come, starting Obama time, these word hate or hatred become prevailing. C c because they used it as a p political tool. And what's happened since Obama got in, which is fine, he got elected, okay? Th there's the, the left, you know, when you've got a socialist like Bernie Sanders, you know, one of the heroes in the Democratic Party, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a complete disaster for American freedom. Mm -hmm. He's a socialist that doesn't believe, and he's not even in the Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. He resigned once he got aced out by Hillary, who they treated him like dirt. I mean, Bernie Sanders is a massive victim of collusion against him. Unbelievable, mm -hmm. okay? And so, so I feel sorry for that, but here he is. I'm a socialist. I, you know, I believe in socialism. He's got three big houses, and he's living the life of a dream, okay? So mm -hmm. it's, it's so hypocritical. It's incredible. And his wife may be going to jail. I still want to stick ourselves to the word hate and, or hatred. That's right? the word for to this show. To stay to the fact, yeah, to stay to the fact that your connotation was that uh, it started all from Obama time. Let me tell you, there are cops dead because Obama said so many derogatory things about the police in America. Mm -hmm. Okay, five shot in Dallas. That all comes from the rhetoric mm -hmm. of our president in those years. And, and then the other people echoing it. That's a true statement, all right, Jack. All right. yeah, and it okay, makes good. me sad. Let's both black cops let, and white let cops. Let us, let us, yeah. you and me, yeah. all step back one step. Okay. Shall we please? Or one step back. Yeah. Okay. okay. Forget we are we are talking about politics. Okay. We're talking yeah, we're about not. a fact. Fact is that when something happens, 
when you, for example, when you throw a ball to the net, it hit the board, right? And, and, uh, and it rebounded. Yeah, yeah. It gets rebounded. Right. All right? Right. Gets rebounded. Like an echo. Like an echo. Yeah. Like, like a, that kind of thing. Yeah. So in political life, things are the same, exactly the same. The more the pressure of the suppression, the more of the rebound. Mm -hmm. The rebounds is the key, all right? Well, yeah, the perpetuation. The perpetuation. Of the initial noise the, the, is, uh, is the right. problem. Okay, now. Right. So when that uh, philosophy or that law, physical law, applies into politics, it's the same thing. It's the same thing, right? So if we did not have a Trevor Martin case, there wouldn't, something else. there wouldn't even be a Michael Brown case. Well, I don't Without think a Michael Brown case, there wouldn't even be a Black Lives Matter case. Without a Black Lives Matter movement, there wouldn't even be a White Lives Matter there is a case. There, there is, is, right? Without that White Lives Matter, yeah. there wouldn't even be what's happening today. The, the Ku Klux Klan coming out, Jack. the neo Nazism come come out, the the, the, Jack. the slavery come out, let me say, everything come out. Let me say something. Now, you let me, fi let me finish okay. my philosophy. Okay. My philosophy, like I said, I'm what I'm saying just to represent myself is totally Not nothing <laughs> but nothing but myself. Right. It's Jack Shaw's own opinion. Right. My stupid mind thinks that way. I just dig it out, I pull it out to share with you and with my audience. Right. Go ahead, feel free to to step upon to to whatever. Okay? So what I want to say, what I want to say is that when these things go in in turn, yeah. you will see a negative cycling. It goes on and on. I'm saying that all if we all if we start at the very point, the very starting point, handle our problem properly and precisely, we wouldn't have what we have today. Am I right? Okay, now, okay. By, by coincidence, it so happened, it was, ha it was at a time when Obama, a colored president, came into office. And that's irrelevant, but yeah. That's they see, they saw as a change, as a token. And then with that token, there's no token when you're elected by a whole country. Connected to what I'm describing, mm -hmm. so it rolls like snowballing, like snowballing to where we are. This is my take, right or wrong. You can, you can, well, you can, you can, you what can, I, what, what, you can pong. Well, what I'm going to say is, is you and many other people on TV and that they make this huge deal, okay, out of the KKK, white supremacists, etc. Mm -hmm. There's there's a hundred thousand approximately, 03 percent of one percent that that would classify themselves as right white uh, 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 white. Uh, you know, think they're better, uh, supremacists. Uh, uh, and a lot of them are in prison. The other thing, there's only 6,000 members in the KKK. That's point oh 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 one of a percent, okay? But there's, it it's, That's nothing. It's nothing. And we make a depends. big deal out it of, depends. no, it doesn't depend. It depends that's what who, it is. It depends who is behind it. If Jack Shaw is behind it, nothing. Well, if I don't somebody know what else. Saying, yeah. I wish that you see the New Yorker magazine, this the last issue. Okay. Right? On the page, on the front page, there is a picture. Picture, let me borrow your pen, please. It's a beautiful okay. pen. The picture of a little boat like this. Okay. And there is a, a, a scale. Okay. And it holds a, uh, a, a, a sail. A sail. Yeah. That has this on it. Yeah. And it here sees a guy blowing to it. Okay, trying right? to make it move. Yeah, trying to make it move. Right. Right. So that's what we have. Pretty tough job. Oh, yeah. yeah, pretty good job. Pretty tough job. To that's the, that, that's what, what they have yeah. about uh, uh, on the New Yorker magazine for this week. It, right. I, that means what I'm saying now here is not myself. It, at least there are other people doing, uh, seeing the same thing. Well, I'm, there I'm is somebody sure behind it. There is somebody behind it. If you say what okay, happens, you say there's somebody yeah, behind white supremacists yeah, and, yes, and KKK. Yes, yes, you're right. You're right. Wrong. Okay, right. You're right. Name one. If you Name say, one. if you say, if you say that President Obama was behind the white, li uh, Black Lives Matter movement, 
And then he, there is a he invited somebody, them to the White House. Somebody behind the and White House. They're yelling, Supremacy. pigs in a blanket, fry them. Uh, when do we, what do we want? Dead cops. When do we want them now? That's what they were doing. That's what they believe. And, right. and he embraced them, Jack. That's let's his, take, that's let's take a short moment now. When we come back, we'll continue because uh, it looks that it is really a big subject to continue. Hate is, <laughs> hates the subject. All right. I don't hate you, all right? No, no, no. We all love right, each go other. Go ahead. We love each other. All right. We'll be right back. Hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to the show. Jack Zhao with uh, my good friend Ken Hammy on the discussion about uh, uh, what's happening now. I call it, uh, the show call is a Trump update. As a matter of fact, the Trump update discussion turns into a hate or hatred discussion. I don't know, dramatically it happens that way. I don't know how. But the word hate or hatred are really something that bothers lots of people. It never used so? to exist like this. Yeah, never, 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 never like this. No, right. never. I've been alive a long time, mm, never. Well, not necessarily. Uh, remember, not, not as a remember, national remember, trend. Remember uh, the 19th century of uh, 1882? I am, absolutely. In Los, An I, in Los Angeles. I was there in high school. A, there is a slaughter and okay. made by white. Okay. They slaughtered, they attacked about 500 uh, Chi Chinese Americans. No, no, five were hung. Five, five, and not 500. Five, no, no, they attacked. They uh -huh. attacked 500. They burned houses. Okay. Right? They hang uh, five. five. Right. Five or four. Five. 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 And. Uh, it's horrible. So. But don't play whites on it. But it was but people did it that people, happened to be white. People, it's just people, yeah, people happen to be white. Right. All right. Right. If I rape a woman, mm -hmm. don't blame me. It's a man whipping a woman, happened to bear a name of Jack Chow. Am I right? Well, is that your philosophy? Well, I'm not sure what you're saying. Number one, I can't even conceive of any aggressive action on any female on planet Earth. Okay, but I will say. In Islam, raping uh, non-infidels yeah. is acceptable. No, under, no, we're under not talking Sharia. about Islam now. Well, we're I'm just talking saying about your definition, your definition game of yeah. white people. So I have no problem with white people. You're white. white. You're my closest friend, right? Yeah. Wh white? I'm talking about yeah. in history, there was something happened when white people attacked in the Chinese village. Sure, sure. And you were saying they are, they are people that happen to be white. Well, and look what happened. At and the I, the way I see that is that is a word game. But, okay. For that, I copied your philosophy. I said if Jack Chow committed crime, is a man committing crime That's that happened to, to be bear Jack. a name right. of Jack Chow. Look what happened in Nanjing. Japanese, nice yellow people, killed 300,000 lovely Chinese people. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that wasn't race. No. I don't know what it was. It was war and it was hatred. It was everything. It was everything. It yeah. was everything. Yeah. Whatever you put it, I have no problem. Yeah, it was everything. I have no problem. It, On this one, I'm talking about you, and this was this discussion was just in answer to your question. Mm -hmm. You said, according to history, as much as you know history, there never there has never been a hate moment or hateful moment or well, hatred moment. Not to this like extent. That. No. I gave you this is hate. in answer to your question. Yeah. I gave you the 1882 the example that happens in Los Angeles yeah. downtown. Right. And that was an incident. That's not national hate. Now the national hate, which supports violence to express their hate, is that something incident, that hasn't happened that before. That incident represented at that time the South, South California. It was a local event South of tragedy. California. Local <laughs> event, local large enough to be to be a representing it, yeah. case. And this is not local that in America right a now. Trend. That re represents a trend that goes against the, uh, against the Chinese Americans because they believe it, it is Chinese Americans who t 
took their job opportunities. No, that was not the purpose of that. That happened because a couple of Chinese guys got in fights, and then there was some shooting, and a white guy got killed. Oh, yeah, I know. Just because he I was know. standing there. That's everything, life. everything. Yeah, you nobody need, should respond to that. You need an ignition point. Right, nobody should respond you to that. You need an ignition point, right? Right. right. That event, small yeah. event right. over that woman, yeah. over that moment, fight over that moment, yeah. was the ignited the event. Yeah. About where is the TNT? Yeah. That right. ignited the TNT. Right. I'm talking the TNT. Yeah, if the bullet had just hit some other Chinese guy, I nothing know. would have happened. I know, I it's know. Terrible. I know. I know. It's I know. terrible. I know. It's terrible. They they happened to 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 hit the TNT. I'm right. talking they about did. where they and are the TNT. Up. Right. And right. the poor the, the the pigs that went there no. with anger to seek revenge. To answer revenge your question, you wonder scum. in history there is no moment like that. I give you that example. That example represented even a small conflict over a woman well, fight could ignite a, a TNT that caused five lives to be hang on right, light poles. Right. Yeah. Wherever they. That but, means the TNT is there. But it's but it's nothing compared to now. This in our school no, system no, no, no. is. I'm not they, talking they about. Are, they are shutting I'm not talking up about conservative the size. discussions. I'm not talking about by size, by yeah. magnitude. I'm right. talking about by nature. But right? magnitude's what counts nature, in America now. By nature, by nature, that happens. Yeah, magnitude is what counts in America right now. Right. You have a state senator and in by Missouri. By nature, by nature, the Chinese Exclusion Act. You know, and I'll say one thing too. I it's think large. I think you'll agree with this. Okay, uh, a lot of what's happening now, honest to God, I believe, is caused by social media and the way people. It's so easy to say hateful, rotten things. Okay. That spreads this hate, <laughs> and then it builds the fire. And it's really. About, I'd like to do away with yeah, all yeah, cell yeah, phones, yeah. Exactly, all exactly. emails. How about that? How about we leave the media thing? Yeah. I probably shall yeah. agree with you. Yeah. By a great extent, with that issue yeah. next. We'll talk about it next segment. Yeah. In this segment, we want to focus on the fact that hate or hatred, to hate, or the word hatred, is created over time. Yeah. Right. And it's not, not something that one person can do. It is over time. It's accumulation. For example, in your body, you have uh, you have healthy cells. Yes, sir. And you have a cancer cells. I have. Right. In our cancer. Everybody, operation. everybody yeah. has cancer cells, and good body has a system that always has the cancer cells under control. Immunity. Immunity. Right. right? Control. And the bad body, because you lose your ability of controlling the bad cells, so the bad cells pops up. I'm sure I have a bad same body. Same law. <laughs> same yeah. law. Same natural law applies to the society. Yeah. As a body, the society has as the bad elements, and the bad concept represented by the bad cells. So a good one controls the bad cells, and a weak one yeah, or no. bad one let the bad one bad cells go out. But the the problem so, in America do now you think is the the cancer of hate is growing. Yeah, it's yeah. Malignant. Do you think? How do we you snuff will, it? You will at least agree with me on this level. America's got the most wonderful people. It's these noisy radicals mm, I that know, I know, cause I know. such problems. I am problems. talking about the cell thing. Yeah, right. right. Do you uh, uh, at least agree with me with a cell analysis? Yeah, sure. There's All right, good. Yeah. Now, it's like a, a rainbow. good body. A good body controls the cell, bad cells, yeah. and the bad body doesn't control the bad cells. Right, right. Now, what's wrong with the body? Right now, our whole so educational system is 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 developing. Rotten bodies. Very good. Probably that finger points to media. Well, the media the and rhetoric. educational system. Yeah, very good. All right. So we'll talk about that when we ca come back after this very short moment with my good friend Ken Hamming, who I love the most, I uh, uh, respect uh, most, the most. Uh, we're sharing you with thoughts about uh, what's happening uh, in the United States. We came to a, a, a summary. The word hate is a big, big chunk. It's so a big worrisome. Chunk. Yeah, it's a big <coughs> chunk. It's Shouldn't so, exist. It's so worrisome that we want to find out uh, where it comes from, how come it is prevailing now, yeah. and then we want to find out who to blame, where to blame, what to do. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Peace.
Hello, dear friends, my lovely audiences, dear fellow Americans. Welcome back to the show, Jack Chow with、uh, Ken Hamming, my good friend, a philosopher and writer on、uh, CPA for Life. Though he loves this community a lot, that he sacrifices、uh, about at least one day of a week to come here to talk with us, and you never know how much he's making. And how much he will have lost <coughs> by、uh, missing one day, but he doesn't care. He、nope. has a lot of money, right? I'm here for people. <laughs> He's here for people. Okay, now welcome back to the show. Okay, now. Love it. In the third discussion, we want to find out how this word hatred come from, and you, towards the end, the last segment, seem to have pointed your fingers at the right thing, the right direction. That's、uh, media. The media, media, and the media responsibility. Well, I do have. It's really、yeah. the the concern, and really the concern to many people. See, it's、so、not media though, Jack. What、mm. it is now, just in the old days in Russia,、mm-hmm. it was propaganda. These are propaganda organizations now. There's no, you know, I look. My brother's a graduate of the best. Uh, journalism school in America, University of Missouri.、Mm-hmm. He was a media person. He was a a, a fair-thinking, middle-of-the-road person that all of them used to be, kind of, you know, m- at least more so. Or, or they hid their their like Walter Cronkite. He was very liberal, but he hid、mm-hmm. it well over、mm-hmm. these years,、mm-hmm. you know, until he retired, and then he started saying what he wanted to say. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But um, uh, and so it's not media is a misuse of the word. Okay, so right、mm-hmm. now it's. Propaganda units, and that's what they are. CNN, that's fine. They got some nice people there, but it's a, it's all to to exude the propaganda of the radical left desire to truly change America into a completely different kind of country, and that's the desire、uh. to destroy the soul of America, which is our Constitution and Bill of Rights and freedom. Let's let's reverse it. Christianity let's is reverse it. Under, under, let's reverse it. Yeah. I would agree with、uh, only. I mean, I would agree with you.、Uh-huh. Only you would stop by somewhere by a certain extent. Okay. In my word, I would describe it as the following: the existence existence of the rhetoric media. Right. Oh, the rhetoric is. They kind of、uh, push this negative propaganda. Or spread negatively the negative news and lies. No, as a lie. As a consequence, as a tool, the, as、yeah. a consequence,、okay. it pushes the society to an end. That's correct, right? That's Not correct. starting for that goal、right. with a target and target to end the society. Let's let's do it.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the 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 opposite way. They do it re- to realize, oh my God, we're We're ending up the society. We're pushing it to to death. Well,、so、to change it, it'd be a society, but it wouldn't be an American society. Yeah, all right. All okay. Of course. And、uh, so、yeah. I'll talk about it consequentially. Consequentially, this is going nowhere but to die as a society. I hope so. As a healthy society. Now, now by the way, I will say, like, you, like I say, there's like six thousand、uh, KKK guys. Okay, and, and you said who, who's behind it? Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you some of what's behind it. Is George Soros the radical left? They would pay KKK guys to go out there and create havoc because that moves their agenda of restructuring、we、America done, farther. We're done on that part. Okay, we're done on that part. Remember when we when we were, we were yes, done、sir. on that part? Okay,、right? <laughs> let's let's focus ourselves、okay. on the on the part of the radical media. Yeah, right. It's so、okay, radical. Now, the media itself. Now nowadays, when we talk about media, we're not talking about.、Uh, Uh, media with a studio like this, right, 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 right. right. We、not. have to include social media. Social media. Everybody destroys. Run,、uh, everybody runs his own social media. Yeah. Right. They say a word people say. Right. It's、yeah. what it, it it is. It's really something. I say what you say, and you say what she says, and it goes it's on, all and on and on and on. Not fact based hearsay. Yeah. 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 Sure. That's all right. Long situation. Right. So that is very risky. It's very, very,、And、very when detrimental. When you get to, onto some social network,、mm-hmm. you'll find about thirty percent of people showing their pictures, their food or stuff,、mm-hmm. 
and about 30, 50, some, some people spreading negativities. Oh, some uh, unbelievable negative The more things. the better. The hatred's on there. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to start a blog. Mm -hmm. In one of, one of my, it's all set up. And one of my desires is I want to hear hatred coming back to me. I think it will be enjoyable. Because I'm going to say just kind of what I feel here that we've always shared about that, that I, you know, I, I like the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. I want everybody to, you know, have a chance to achieve the American dream of moving up from poverty and middle class, middle class to upper middle class, et cetera, et cetera. And some people then fail and you go down and then they try again and you can go up. Right now, uh, uh, until we had Trump that I think is creating jobs and all that, that's going to help if we get tax cut through, we'll, we'll have a very vibrant uh, uh, economy, and it's pretty good right now. I mean, look at the stock market, it's 22,000, yeah. it was 18 uh -huh. when he got elected. That's not bad. It's That's created bad. like trillions mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. uh, dollars in wealth, mm -hmm. in, you know, in, and I've made some money off of, off of uh, organizations I don't like because the, r the people that run them that, look at mm -hmm. Facebook and that, and, and, and Google, they are, they are uh, 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 discriminating against any positive Trump or conservative commentary. Mm -hmm. And they are eliminating it and when they can. you made money, you made money by, the, by buying their stock. And I'm ashamed of it, yeah. Oh, but, yeah. but still, I'll spend it on my daughter and you. Yeah, it's a shameful money. Right, yeah, <laughs> that's right, it's dirty All right. money. All right, yeah. okay, dirty money. If dirty you money. love America, yeah. it's dirty if you money. love America. Anyway, it seems that if we focus on that, we <laughs> seem to have found the problems, right? So the problem being that you have uh, uh, the traditional media, they kind of in a landslide going towards one direction. Very and much. And you have medias like us, like us. Yeah, you guys are beautiful. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank yeah. you very much. And uh, by the way, my dear audience, at the g &E TV, we stand in the middle most of the time, right? Only when between right and wrong, uh, we have to take a take, especially where as me, as a, as, a, as a media man, I have to take a stand to, to express that I know what I want to do. Uh, other than that, most of the time, that's between parties, between left or right, so, so, so on and so forth, it doesn't matter where we stand. Well, yeah. so that's why we have friends from left or from right. right? Now, um, just, uh, just, uh, just the opposite to what we're doing, the rhetoric uh, left media, the extreme left media, the kind of, uh, I don't know, could be the, uh, the, the devastation of uh, the time that the traditional media, especially printing media, is facing so that they are, so they become devastated, so they grab any moment that catches the eyes so that they kind of like uh, make it so extreme, so negative. It's pushing out more extreme. And, and like, I don't know what's gonna happen in the future, 2018 election, 2020, mm -hmm. but I don't believe we'll ever have a president elected, I hope, that is a really radical progressive leftist that really wants to rewrite or destroy America, rewrite our history by destroying monuments and, and statues of guys that in the old days, you know, that maybe they had slaves or something, uh, uh, but, but the, the, we've evolved out of that. There's millions of slaves in the world right now. Mm -hmm. There's slaves in America right now, child, children that are slaves, mm. and there's, there's slavery all over, the, you know, and like we said before, well, we'd have to tear down the Great Wall and, and the pyramids because they were all built by slaves. So, so those are monuments, we can't tear those down. Mm. That's the reality of the time. And so you move forward and evolve to a greater society. All right, all right. Uh, my dear audience, today with my good friend, Ken Hemming, we're having good time in discussion. We disagree a lot and we agree on several issues. And I agree with him on the uh, the monument issue. Yeah, that's some of the monument, uh, well, if they are not built today, they might not be that serious, uh, that mean uh, that much of a disaster, so on and so forth. <laughs> so they, they 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 represent nothing. For example, the Great Wall of China. Yeah. Right. Does it represent a slavery? Well, it was built by people not willing to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So but I, it represents people, manpower, right? The human race, human ability. 
well, the history. Yeah, like yeah just, like, history. just like the slavery in America. Number mm. one, it was black people in Africa selling these guys, you know, and, and betraying them no, to no, get them to America. I'm, I'm, but it was all for okay. economic yeah, reasons. Great Wall of China. Pick the Great cow. Wall of yeah. China. Right. It doesn't rep represent the uh, emperor of Qing dynasty. I mean, Qing emperor? No. Yeah, that's that. And uh, the, 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 the pyramid, Egypt. Yeah. Right? It did not a symbol for for slavery, so that everybody goes to visit and goes to salute. Right. To that? Right. No. Right. It's history. Yeah. It's, it's history. It's history. It's mean kind of wisdom, that. something like that. Yeah. Right. So it's evolution. No big deal, I believe. Yeah, evolution. No big deal. No big deal. But it's the same here. I mean, look, like when Obama was president, nobody said anything about statues. Nancy Pelosi's been there 30 years. She never, and she's walking by these same statues all, all the right, time. Right. Now, now, I, oh, I gotta, I gotta get on the side. We gotta get rid of these statues. Give yeah, me could a break. that be Donald Trump called from calling for it? Not a or chance. Donald not Trump a chance says... in, in the world. Not a chance in the world, Jack. <laughs> Don't even Pro go actives, there. Proactive. All right. Anyway, yeah, okay, yeah. forget it. All right. All right, my dear friends, today with the Ken Hamming, we're having lots of fun, my dear friends. Even though we argue a lot, we started with a long, long face. Uh, we end up with a shorter one. Right. And he is no longer blaming his parents for giving him a long <laughs> yeah, face right. already. I blame myself. Thank you very much, my dear friends, <laughs> and to Ken. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Love you guys. I love you.